Hello, welcome. Let's continue question 10 and 11 in this episode. The GTLE NTC and Sexual Examination. Four math weavers can weave four math in four days. At the same rate, how many math will be woven by eight math weavers in eight days? I'm sure if you are looking at this, you are seeing four, four, four. So eight, eight, eight. Your mind will be tricking you that the next answer in how many days or in how many months. So you'll be thinking that the next month will be eight because eight, 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 four, four, four. And that will be wrong. So what do we do? We have to know the strength of each of the math weavers. So the strength, how many math will each person weave in a day? If we are able to know one person weaving two, then if there are eight weaving two times eight, that will be in a day, then times eight days will have given us the answer we are looking for. So right away, we can say that the four math weavers, all of them will weave How many will they weave in a day? But they are weaving four. Is that not it? So that is going to be four mat over four. So four mat weavers will weave this in what? A day. When I mean a day, I mean one day. So if you divide this by this, that gives you one mat. Four of them are weaving one in a day. Just one, all of them. If the four are working together at the same rate, they are able to weave only one in a day. So how many is one person weaving? So one mat weaver will be weaving the one mat that all of them are weaving by all of them. Look at it. They are four of them are really one. So now only me, I will be dividing the one mat by four. And I'll take one part of it. That's one quarter. So this is going to be the mat in a day, which is going to give us one out of four. Let's add anyway, it will be half, so less than that. So let's make it that way. So this means that one math weaver or one person, one man, let me use the word, one man is weaving one quarter mat in what? A day. So now eight men. Eh? If one man is weaving this, how about eight men? So this implies that eight men, I'm using men, let me use math weaver. will be weaving eight times one out of four mats in a day. Because in a day, one person is weaving this. So now if we are eight, I weave one quarter, I weave one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, eight of them, all will be happening in one day. So it means that this is going there two times. So we are weaving one mat in a day, all of us. So now, if all of us are working again for how many days? Eight different days. How many months do you think we are going to weave? If all of us are weaving two in a day, two in a day for eight days, so it means that eight month weavers will weave eight, which is the days. Eight days by what? Two months. In how many days? Eight days. So this is going to be 16 months in eight days. I believe you follow the concept. 
using the unitary method to arrive at the answer. So it's going to be 16, not the 8 as we envisaged in the beginning. So this will be our answer. Question 11. A cubical block of metal weighs 6 pounds. How much will another cube of the same metal weigh if its sides are twice as long? The same metal means aluminium block is used to make a cube. And if they make a cube of that, it is weighing what? Six pounds. Now they say aluminium block is used to make another cube. In this time, the length are double. So we know a cube, if we have it right now if the length are double meaning here will be extended here will be extended so i'll be having a double of that this will also be extended we can see that way if i come here it will be extended so here extended this place extended this is going to be extended the top will be extended. So at the end of it, or I'm sure you're seeing the picture, it will be getting bigger. So now, the smaller one is weighing six pounds. Then we need to know how much will the second one also weigh. But we are aware that since it's a cube, since it's a cube, we are going to have the length times the length times the length, and that is giving us what? So the six pounds. And in this case, if you multiply three length, that gives you L cube equal to six pounds. So this is the, the length which we are looking for. But it is having a power of three. So we find the cube root of both sides. That gives us the length equals to the cube root of what? Six. So this is what the length is. So that is the length of the cuboid that gives us six pounds. Okay, so the L is now cube root of six. So now we know that this one L is the cube root of six. But we are saying that the length has been doubled. So it means the weight of this is going to be the length which is now double as well 2L, one side 2L, 2L and there are three groups of that that is going to be 2L times 2L times what? 2L in this case 2 times 2 times 2 that give us what? 8 then L times L give us what? L cube but we are aware that the L is chain to a cube root of 6. Therefore, 8 times the cube root of 6, which is the L, raised to the power of 3. Do we see that? And if I have a cube root, which is the same as what? A power of 1 third times 3. The cube root will cancel the cube. Then that gives us 8 times what? 6. And that gives us what? 48 pounds. It means that the weight of the other metal which has its length double is going to give us what? This. Thank you for watching. Share the video, like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Bye bye.